Hello, I hope you're fine. Uh, according to somebody sat not very far away, I start my videos off in a not very good way. So, hello, welcome. This is, um, oh, fondant icing mould texture paste, put in it, dried, took out. That's where I got the gold bits from. Right, do you know how lead, when you look at something very old and leady, with detail on it, it has that slightly bulbous, rounded off edges to everything. Bit plasticky looking. I don't mean looking as in colour or anything, I mean as in edges aren't sharp. Well, when you do the glue all over everything and seal everything down with the glue, that gives you that type of look. This first coat, please read the things because I'll get lost on how many coats there are. Um, but basically, this first coat goes all over it, everywhere. Um, make sure it's thoroughly coated and that you can't see through it. Right, there's a few different glazers. This is one of the glazers. Some... Don't put it on absolutely all over in the same amount of thickness. That is cross-hatched all over it. You see there's bits missing. Um, you've just got to play with it. Stripe streaks and blurred bits and more here and less there and just basically mess until you get the colour that you want but they are the colours that are used right graphite if you look at it in the sun it's like a dark shiny rainbow i know that sounds a bit strange but it's like metallic -y. it's very pretty scribble on a piece of paper and hold it to the sun basically what you're after is a very thin coat of that all over it just rubbed in and then on the high points go for it quite a bit and get a lot on the high points where it would naturally be polished to that degree right what i'm doing here is i've got a matte varnish i'm putting it on then very quickly brushing chalk dust pastel dust anything that's white and chalky dusty brushing that into the nooks and crannies um as you can see you know just where it hasn't quite dried yet um, it's basically where crud builds up and or water gathers and it does its corrosive what do batteries do? Car batteries, they, what do you call them? When they go chalky white. Sulfate. Sulfate. That's what the white stuff's meant to be. Thank you for your very willing help there, Pat. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I know. So there you go. You can see rounded edges to the details. I mean, they were proper squared off when I took it out of the mould, but it gives it that. It's the initial glue that gives it that rounded sort of look. Squared but rounded. I'm not making sense, am I? But I mean, it looks like lead, doesn't it? Right, anyway, thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome to all my new subscribers. Please share it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you manage to use this technique on something. It's brilliant. It'd look really good with steampunk. Thanks for watching. Bye. Was that any better, Your Majesty? Mm.